हेलो एवरी वन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव ड्रॉ लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी ऑफ लेंथ सेवन पॉइंट थ्री सेंटीमीटर एंड पाइन इज एक्सिस ऑफ सीमेट्री नाउ वॉट इज एक्सिस ऑफ सीमेट्री एक्सिस ऑफ सीमेट्री इज पोपेंडिकुलर पाई सेक्टर नाउ वॉट आर पर्पेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर्स पर्पेंडिकुलर मीन्स द लाइन विच मेक्स नाइंटी डिग्री विथ द बेस लाइन एंड बाई सेक्टर मीन्स इट विल डिवाइड द लाइन इंटू टू इक्वल हाफ दैट मीन्स इफ इफ द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन इज से ओ एंड द लाइन इज से ए बी दिस लाइन डिवाइड द बेस लाइन इंटू टू इक्वल हाफ दैट मीन्स द लेंथ ऑफ ओ ए इज इक्वल टू द लेंथ ऑफ ओ बी Now here it is said that uh, a line segment AB of length seven point three centimeter. Suppose this is a line segment AB of seven point three centimeter. Now find its axis of symmetry means we will have to draw the perpendicular bisector which will divide AB into equal half. That means OA will be equal to OB. So let us draw line segment AB. so we'll start from 0 we'll put a point here at 0 and 7.3 is here is 7 then 7.1 7.2 7.3 so here we'll put a point and then we will join these two points so this is a b now we will have to draw a perpendicular bisector for this we will place the needle of the compass at a point and we will take more than half and then we will draw an arc here and and the another arc at lower side now similarly we'll place the needle at point b and with the same measurement we will draw an arc which will cut over here and down also so now we will uh, we will have two intersecting point now we'll join this two this will intersect suppose on uh, this will intersect uh, ab line segment at point o so this is called perpendicular now it if it divides ab into two equal half then it is said to be perpendicular bisector bisector means it will divide the line into two equal half so here this length and this length is equal so that means we can write oa is equals to ob so this is called axis of symmetry so here i have drawn a line segment ab and after that i have drawn a perpendicular bisector which means a line axis of symmetry so this was question number 1